It's all about people, their ups, their downs, their moments of glory, and some they wish to forget. And on the Metro Plus show, we get them all to open up to Chennai. This week, it's the turn of the Fresh Prince of Bollywood, Vivek Oberoi. He was in the city recently to talk about his upcoming film, Prince, and somewhere down the line, he ended up revealing a lot more about his love life, or the lack of it, and how he became a pretty good kisser by the end of his latest film. Here's the unplugged version. The Prince himself is finally here at Satyam Cinemas, the gentleman we've all been waiting for. Uh, let's start with Prince. Is it Prince or Prince, it's showtime? Well, it's Prince, only Prince, but right now it is showtime because the film releases in less than a week, uh, I mean, or a little more than a week, on 9th April. Uh, so it is showtime right now. It's all buzz and energy and a lot of touring, a lot of tripsing all over the country, um, trying to reach out to all the audiences promoting the film. Well, you've got a lot of new talent, That's especially right. the lovely uh, leading ladies. Absolutely. So, uh, was that an in, uh, intended idea? How did that come about? You see, the, it, it comes from the story of Prince. The story of Prince is a very exciting uh, story. It's a very unusual kind of story. Um, it's a story of a thief who can absolutely steal anything from anywhere. Uh, very charming, very smart, very uh, sharp kind of thief. What happens when this thief who can do anything, someone gets into his mind and steals his memory? What happens when he wakes up one morning to find that he doesn't know who he is, where he is, uh, why the, the mafia is chasing him, the CBI is chasing him, the intelligence is after him, what is it that he stole and where he hid it? And now he has to backtrack and go through everything. All he finds out is that he's got six days to live. If he doesn't find out, all these things in six days, he's dead. So part of the story, part of the twist is, while he's in this condition, in this, during these six days, he meets three girls. Mm -hmm. And all three of them introduce themselves as Maya. All three of them say, I'm your girlfriend, my name is Maya. And each of them has a different backstory with Prince. So Prince has to also decipher for himself which one's saying the truth and which one's lying. So the reason we took three new girls is that there'd be an absolute parity. The minute you take one bigger heroine for the main role, then everyone knows who the main girl's going to be. So right now there's a lot of buzz and excitement. There's a lot of um, thrills and twists uh, associated with the whole concept of who real Maya is. Uh, and that was the intention. Majority of your films haven't necessarily been action oriented. Is this your time with Prince that you're going to turn a new leaf? Um, I've, I've been appreciated in movies that I've done um, which have been like love stories, like whether it was Satya or Yuva, the chemistry with Karina. People have loved uh, uh, those aspects uh, of, of my work in my movies. And then there's been a second um, aspect which is shoot out at Lokanwala, company, you know. Prince was a perfect opportunity to merge the two. I take time to get into a character. I don't just jump into shooting, I just don't land up on one day and start filming. So I take time, I start doing workshops, I start working on my character, start getting into it. For Prince, for example, so that I would be able to carry off that degree of action with that precision, not end up killed, uh, not end up killing myself or someone else, I had to practice, I had to train for five months dedicated. So during those five months, there would be skateboarding rehearsals, stunt biking rehearsals, parkour rehearsals, martial arts rehearsals. There'd be practice training sessions for cable work. And during this time, during these practice sessions, we'd have my director, my action director, my DOP, my cinematographer, coming in, spending a lot of time. It was a 300-man unit with eight to 12 cameras. And something like this hadn't been attempted before. We've heard about um, the number of takes for your uh, intimate scenes. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'm not going to pry into it too much, but you have to tell us a little bit about your experiences Whoa. on set. Yeah, okay, it just got a little hot in here. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. It was a part of the film. Uh, my director was very clear from the beginning. He was like, you know, you have to shoot this stuff. Um, I've never done this kind of stuff before. So it was kind of new for me. It was funny because during the action bits, I was at home, mm -hmm. you know, jumping off the 60th floor on the first day of work taking care of my leading ladies and all the action sequences, I'd be like, don't worry, I'm here. Okay. Chivalrous gentlemen, I'll take care of you. No worries, you know, bring, bringing them confidence and all of that. But it was this, this big kiss that I had to do on a bridge, which was a prelude to an action sequence, in front of like 
300 people with 700 eyeballs staring at me and two choppers whirling around and the director going like on the big mic going more intimate, hold her sir, yes, kiss her passionately sir, yes sir. I was like, oh, you know, you don't want to be kissing a girl like that. I'm not somebody who's much into PDA. Uh, so it was kind of professional, but yes, difficult. Is it because of the amount of social work that you do and your commitment to your films uh, that you don't have a personal love life? I don't know. I, I think that a personal love life should not be, uh, should not be um, dependent on whether you do have uh, social commitments and the work that you're doing. Uh, I'm a romantic at heart. Uh, I write a lot of poetry. Um, I like to wine and dine a girl. I like chivalry. I'm a little old school. Um, I like the whole process of wooing, uh, you know, a lovely lady. Uh, but what's important for me now in the stage of life that I'm at and the spiritual growth that I feel that I'm at, I feel that I need someone who's um, not flippant. You know, I need something more with, with, with a lot more you know, wait. I want something that would mean something. Thank you so much for joining Such us. Such a pleasure, Vivek. Natasha. Thank you so much. Okay, that's what goes on Vivek's wall. Good kisser. The Metro Plus show has to take a break at this point just to recover from this candid interview. When we return, strike a chord with the man behind Pro Musicals.